Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning. Once again, my name is Nandon Harriet. I'm a V3. A V3 is an advanced broker. It's an advanced broker, and um, I'm on my way to becoming a senior broker. Can you imagine? Yay. Hey, Royalty is very interesting. You first become advanced before you become a senior. So I have, I am advanced now. Then after being advanced, I'm going to go to a senior. That is V4. That is my dream. That is my dream. That's where I am. Though the end, the finishing line is V6. That is when you become a global partner. When you become a global, when you become a global partner. I'm sharing the screen. Hey, I had stopped. I'm sharing the screen. Screen, where are you? Good. I got my trading view. And then I said, today we are going to look at the stochastic. We are going to look at the stochastic, stochastic RSI, Relative Strength Index. It is another indicator for those ones who are not here when we are starting, when we are starting uh, the anatomy of a candle and so on and so forth. We shall go back to you again when we finish some of these indicators, then we shall be going back and then um, and then uh, do it again. I can see there is some green in the market. I can see there is some green in the market, some green in the market. I see SXP. SXP has tried to fill all the orders which were there. Remember the other time when we were looking at it? SXP, SXP. You see, you remember when I was talking about it yesterday and it was, it, uh, it broke. Uh -huh. This is the break of structure. The break of structure happened here when this resistance was broken and then it closed the above. So it means when it closed the above, then on this candle, which is on, which is almost getting finished. So someone who entered here, someone who entered here, let me show you, someone who saw this and you had drawn your resistance and support, and then you entered here where it closed from, and then you went into the market, it made 4%. It made 4.9, which is five. So if you had wanted to make 3%, you would have gone out of the market long time ago. You have bagged, you have bagged your money and you are out. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. I said we are going to look at the stochastic. Stochastic. What do you do for you is new. If you have your trading view, come here on the plus sign. When you come to the plus sign, click on it. It is going to take you to indicators. We, are, we want an indicator. For me, I have what I, I have my, my, my favorites, but let me go to the technicals. To the technicals, there are so many. There are so many. In the technicals, we have the indicators. We have indicators. We have strategies. We have profiles. We have patterns. But this time round, we are looking at indicators. The indicators are so many, and I have said we are going to look at the stochastic. It is called the stochastic. Stoka, stochastic, stochastic RSI. RSI means relative strength index. Relative strength index. The stochastic, it is an indicator that we are going to look at. And when you click on it, if you want to start it, you want to put it in your favorites, you just click on the star on the left hand side around here. And then it be, it becomes yellowish. Then it means you have you have put it in your in your uh, in your what in your uh, favorite list. Now this is the stochastic, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, if you always want it, it will always be shown below. It is always below the uh, the chart of a certain coin. Okay, it is always below the charts. Uh, before we go there, let us first look at, I told you always, if you want to know current news about uh, the current news or the fundamental news around, when you find these things on your trading view, don't just look at them, just look at them. Uh, don't just jump them, don't just uh, go away, just click on them and then you get to know what is going to happen. There is a Fed press conference, which is for today at 21.30, there is FM, F, FOMOC, FOMOC, economic projections, Fed interest rates. Now, if you don't know what they mean, always go and read about them, then you get to know. Those are some of the things that drive the market. 
So sometimes when they are red and they are negative, sometimes they can affect the, uh, the crypto market negatively or positively. Each and every news which is made and it is a statement which is made and it is in the financial market, it affects the market either positively or negatively. I leave that one. I go back to my stochastic. Now, when you look at the stochastic, the stochastic has um, basically, it has, um, it has lines. We have this um, before, 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 before I do that. Let me first go to its settings. Let me go to its settings. If you want to get the settings, the right settings, always click here on the name of the indicator. Click, uh, click on the name of the indicator. When you click there, it is going to bring you these things. It will bring the I, it will bring that screw, and then the X, and then these three dots. But our interest today is in the settings. It is in the settings. When we click in the settings, it is going to bring for us. Mm -hmm. Then already start with the inputs. With the inputs, this is what you are going to uh, Because this one, I saved it already. Then the K, the D, the the RSI, the stochastic length, and then the RS, everything. It is four two two nine. I take a screenshot, and then I'll share it in the group. Okay, uh, those are the settings of the stochastic relative strength index. It is a what? It is um. It is it is an indicator used to uh, to for when you look at it and then you follow it. It can help you when you are making decisions on on when to enter the market and when to get out of the market. So in other words, it can also show you where the market is going, whether it is going in the right direction or in the wrong direction. So when we go to the style, when we go to the style, we have uh, we have line K is blue, D is orange, black upper band is black which is at 90 the middle band is at 50 and then the lower band is black at 10. okay so uh those ones you might not you might maybe just to say i want them when they are too thick maybe you can increase or oh, for me i prefer leaving them at two at the second uh that is the opacity i leave them at a hundred percent and then sickness, I put it at the number two. Then after that, always save as default, such that even if you have removed it, it will always, when you want it back, it will always come back with the right, with the right, with the right settings that you put. Okay. Uh -huh. Now the lines that we saw, we have the lower band. We have the lower band. This is the lower band. It is black. We have the middle band the middle band, which is green, and then we have the upper, and then we have the upper band. Okay, let us say lower band. Uh, the lower band, lower band is at 10. It is at 10. It, the, these bands are numbered for the stochastic. Then the middle band is at 50. And then the upper band, is at at 90. Now, these are very important areas to look at when you are to use the relative, uh, the, the, the RSI, the stochastic RSI. If you are to use it, you must be very, very careful, the lower band, the middle band, and the upper band. So this, uh, the stochastic moves from zero to 100. It moves from zero to a hundred. Where are they? What are those things that I'm talking about? Where are they? They are here. The numbers are here. Okay. The numbers are the numbers I'm talking about. They are here. Okay. The numbers I'm talking about. They are here. So if we want to, if we want to widen it, you can see. You can see. You can see. You can see. I said the lower band. The lower band, lower band, not lower. The lower band is at 10. The middle band is at 50. And, and, um, and I said the, the upper band, the upper band is at 90. I think now we can see this is the 
lower band is at 10, middle band is at 50, and then the upper band is at 90. Okay, now if you are going to put in a trade and you are to follow the relative strength index, the RSI, what are you supposed to follow? Let us look at always, 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 always when the trade has moved because you are going to use this indicator while you are looking at the chart above okay you are going to use this indicator while you are looking at the chart while you are following the chart above okay the chart always helps you to follow the what the relative strength index the relative strength index or the stochastic let us just keep on saying the stochastic now if the trade is moving, if the trade is moving and it has moved, it has gone this way below 10, below 10, the moment it, you see that the stochastic is below 10, below the 10 line, the lower band, never enter a trade. Never enter a trade when it is still moving down because uh, though it is always a great opportunity, get, get ready because it is in the oversold area, oversold. It means the market, they have sold and sold and sold. Now it is in the oversold. The, the sellers have sold and sold. Almost they have exhausted what they have. It is in the oversold area. When you see the stochastic is below the 10 line, below the lower band line. And when you look upwards, you will already see that the red candles have gone and then it is, it is down all the, the, all the candles, all the candles are red and, are red and red and red. Are we together? Then you have to wait for a turn back. You have to wait for the turn back. And when you wait for that turn back, wait and see where the stochastic, you know, the stochastic, uh, that, that, that moving average, it has two lines. It has the red line and then the blue line, okay? It has the red line and it has the blue line. Always, when the blue line is on top, is on top of the red line, just know that the market is going up. And always the right time to enter the market is when you see a crossover, when you see the, the blue line is crossing over from down going upwards to, let me change even the color here. Are you seeing around here? And around here we saw a cross and then even here we saw a cross, then even here we saw a cross. Many times when you see that crossover, the line, the blue line is crossing over to be on top of the red moving average. That is a very good spot to enter a trade. That is a very good spot to enter a trade. But if you, it has crossed and it is still below the 10 line, wait until it moves above the, the lower band line, that is the 10 the 10 line, this one. Friends, are we together? Are you following? Are you following? We Am following. I loud and clear? Please let me know. We are following, but you had gone last. Your audio. Friends, can you hear me? We hear you Am now. I? Now you can hear me. Yeah. What had happened? Okay. Like, like <laughs> you got lost like for like one, five seconds like right that. Okay, where did I end? Where, where, did you see when I said, um, did you say, did you, did you hear me when I said, when I said that it is always important to look for those points when the blue moving average crosses over and then it is on top of the red 
moving average. Did you see that one? Yeah, we heard that. Uh huh. And then I said, even if you see it crossing over for as long as it is still below, the moment it is still below the 10 line, don't enter the market. Wait until it goes above. Wait until it goes above. Many times when you follow the chart above, when you follow the chart and then you look at it where it has crossed over and it is still below, it is still below the 10 line. There, you wait for the next candle, which will cross, which will cross above the ten line. Then you can enter, and then you will just see it going up. Okay. So if you have entered a trade and you have entered the trade when the line is just above, above the ten line, the lower band, make sure that your take profit is at around the middle band, around the fifty line. Okay, around the fifty line. Make sure that as you are drawing your your your, your measure, you are putting your have your your price range. Make sure that you don't go far. You don't go so far. Always make sure that as you are following the stochastic, follow the candles up there. You have put some indicators there in your in the in the chart. Maybe you are having the support and resistance. So many times, where the zero where the ten line is always there is a support line there always always and always and where the 50 line is in your chart always you will see that there they are deserves a resistance line okay let me show you let me show you let me show you what i'm talking about let me show you what i'm talking about what i'm talking about hmm. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Wait, where did we, where, where, where we saw the crossover around here? It was here, okay? It was here. And when you look at the candle above, there was a very good move. There was a very good move. And someone who had put this support and resistance, someone who put support and resistance, someone who put resist, support and resistance, let me show you. The crossover was not on this red candle where my line is. The crossover was was on this red candle, this green candle. And if someone put a trade in there at that crossover, you know, many times when you see that crossover, the blue line has crossed. When you see a near stochastic, the the, the 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 blue line, the the blue line has crossed over. Now it is on top of the red line. Just to enter the trade. I'm telling you, just to enter the trade because now this red one closed here, closed from here. So which means it closed above. It closed above your support, the support that you put. And then you can take a trade here and then you make, and then you take a 3% at your resistance. You get, you take a 3% and then you get out. And then you get out and then you wait when the blue line, when the blue closed, crossed over and now it went below the blue line. I think you can see now the effect. Now what happened? The market had to go down. The market had to go down because the blue crossed over and then now it went below. You see? It went below, below the, the what? The, the, the red line. Now, again, when it crossed again, when it crossed again here, it crossed when uh, it crossed from here and then it made a dodge. A dodge that is a, 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 that is um, a, a candle which is formed and the market is, is almost, we don't, it is undecided, we don't know. The buyers and the sellers are almost having the same strength. And now when it made that and then it crossed, when it when it closed it closed when the stochastic was slightly above it was it was it was at the 50 line it was at the 50 line that is the green line okay now what happened on the next candle someone put in a trade because that's when it crossed you see it crossed you see it crossed here when it crossed someone put in a trade if you put in a trade here on this candle on this candle and then you say i want to take a trade and i want to take three percent out of this market 
and you see at and then if you say i wanted to take three i always tell you take three percent so it made four it went up to two it made seven percent but you don't risk put it slightly below where you put your resistance line 3.8 or you say four percent and then it went okay it went above now the market has gone it has gone below it has gone it has gone above the 50 line you can see it has gone above the 50 it has gone above the 50 line so you can still be in the market now this one it has just done a retracement let me tell you this ix sxp it has done just a retracement where it is it has done a retracement someone can enter the trade and then you get out you make another three percent because it would be okay to enter the trade from where it is right now and then you get out here at 90 because the moment you go beyond 90 when you find the stochastic has gone beyond 90 then that one we say it is overbought it is overbought what is going to happen next now this people people are going to start taking profits people are going to start taking profits people are taking take uh, yes they are going to start selling and then what happens the market is going to go down okay below below the the, the lower band it is oversold it means anytime it is good to buy from there it is good to buy from there because anytime it is going to change we go take profit at the 50 line if it goes above 50 line take the profit at around 90 the moment you reach 90 and then it goes beyond 90 never enter a trade if you see that i've been in a trade and now it has gone the stochastic has reached 90 and it is still going please get out of the trade because it is now the market is overbought any time from that time it is going to drop down okay anytime it is going to drop down because it has gone to the over overboat overboat area now people are going to sell what they have and what means what what does it mean when they sell what they have see what happens when people sell what they have this is what happens this is what happens this is what happens when people sell what they have they bought this is what happens. The buyers went bought, and then the orders were too many. They were too huge. But because people had planned that, uh, uh, I have to take profit from here. Now they are sold. They have sold. That's why you are seeing now it has the, the wick or the shadow of the candle is too big, and now it has become red. Are we learning, friends? Are we learning someone? If you are learning the stochastic RSI, please tell me. Or even if you have yeah, not yeah, seen. Yeah, we are learning, yeah. But I have a, a little bit uh, confusion. Yes, please. Regarding the this is stochastic line, the blue and the, and the orange line. Mm. So you said that once the stochastic line is crosses the, the lower band, that is 10, and it, uh, and it is below 10, and that it is risky to enter the market. But I, I have seen that always whenever it crosses that line, the market always crosses and go up. And it okay. is possible when she, uh, the trade is still in the middle band, that is the line, and uh, the the blue line is still above the orange line. Is it advisable to enter the market? Okay, okay. Let me respond. Thank you, Henry. Henry is saying, let me repeat this. If you are to use the stochastic RSI, if you are to use the stochastic RSI to put in your trades, or a spot for points like these ones when the blue line is crossing over and then it is on top of the orange line orange or red whatsoever i can see we can see it here we can see it here and when you compare where it happened and you look in the candles here and now you look in the chart there was a movement upwards 
And where the, the red, the blue line crossed over and then it was below the, it was below the orange already candle, already moving average, the market went down. Even when you look up, it went, it went down, okay? You see here, when it crossed, the market went down. And even in the chart here, you can see it went down tremendously. It was a big fall. We can see it was a very, very big fall. Now, when is the right time to enter the market? When you find that the market has moved, the RSI, it, is, it has moved. It is this way. It is this way. It is, point, it is pointing down. Don't enter. Wait for it to cross the, uh, the 10 line. Okay? When you see a cross has been made, wait for the candle that will cross, that will close when, the, when, these, when these lines have moved and now they have crossed, they are above the 10 line. Any candle that will form and you find that these lines, they have, they have, they have pointed up, the crossover happened and now they are above the 10 line. Then you enter the trade. You enter, you enter the trade. Yeah. And then when you enter the trade, make sure that you take a 2%, 2.5, Get out of the market. Wait for it. Wait for it because it can even come and then it reaches uh, the 50 line and then it goes down. It is possible. Not every time that it moves from down, it has to go and then pass through the 10, the, the 50% and then it goes up to 90. No, sometimes you might find you might find it moving and then it crosses from here and then it goes down. Then it goes back down here, it, go in, it goes to, uh, ends here and then it crosses and then it comes down and then it comes and then it goes. So not every time it has to go and then pass through the 50 line. So what do you have to do? What you have to do is wait for now, it. Now, it I've been saying wait for it always to come down this way. When it comes and then the, the market and then the stochastic is showing you that now ah, the market is this way, it is this way down, it has even gone below the 10 line, then it means it is in the over, it is in the oversold area. Any time you see, there is a time when you will find this stochastic has gone up to around here. So this line below the 10 line is oversold. It means it is the best time for you to get prepared to, to, to what? To buy, to buy. And then anytime you see that the red is crossing, the red is below, and then the blue is crossing, it is above, then buy. And then you have, of course, when it crosses, it will point up. Now wait wait until you see that there is a candle that has formed and it closes when the stochastic is above the 10 line. When it is above the 10 line, which means we are sure now we are going up, it has closed above the 10 line, then enter the trade. Your take profit should be at around, around the 50 line, slightly below 50 line, because at that point, it can also act as a resistance. So when you look at your charts, you will see that at that moment, at, in that area where the 50 line is, there is a support, there is a resistance somewhere there. So get out at 50, because anytime it can go there and then it comes down, it comes down. Like here, when you look here, it came, Like here, let us see here. It came from here and then it moved up and then it went even to overboard. Then it came down here. It reached 50. We expected it to come to the 10, but it didn't. There is another cross that happened here. And then it crossed the 50. We expected it maybe to go to 90. No, it didn't. It came down here around 50. It was, it was supported. The, the support was given. It went up and then it didn't reach 90. Then it and then it came down until when it came to the oversold. Okay. Hoping now I am clear. Henry, if I am clear, now you can tell me. So someone is saying, and again, another question you were asking, um, if the crossover happened and then 
I, I still see the 50 line has been uh, has been crossed over and then the blue is still on top. Can I still enter the trade? Yes, you can still enter the trade at 50 line here. If you see that it is still going up, enter the trade around here and then make sure you get out before the 90 because the moment it goes beyond 90 it means it is in the overbought area meaning anytime it is going to go down so you can use the stochastic line the stochastic uh, indicator in a different time frames when you check on it in the four hour time frame and it is not giving you the right it is not giving you the right thing now look at this look at look at this Look at the stochastic right now. You cannot enter the trade because it has gone beyond 90, which means it is in the overbought area. So it has to first retrace. It has to first retrace or it has to first consolidate before going up again. Or it has to first come down up to around the 50 line. And then if it is to go back, if they are good momentum, there is enough volume, then it can go up again before it comes down to the 10 line or to the oversold area. If you see that in the four hour time frame, it is not so clear. You can change and then you go to the one hour time frame and see what is the stochastic saying. Because we said you people, we said um do the do your analysis always check the big time uh, higher time frame then go to the smaller time frame to give you a good early entry point now when we look at the one hour time frame it is telling us the stochastic is telling us the it is over it was overbought it was overbought you see it was overbought it went above so which means someone had to get out of the market. It is okay, don't enter the SXP right now because it is now gone, it has even passed it uh, 50. Now we don't know, we cannot enter the trade right now because we don't know whether this movement, it is going to come down until it reaches oversold, then it crosses or it is going to end here, then it changes to go back. So we don't know because we don't know. You don't enter that trade, you leave it and then you look at another, Coin. Remember, there are 79 coins that we trade in Royal Q. Have I made some sense today, members? If I've made some sense today, please, uh, you can tell me or you go to the chat. I see in the chat, I see in the chat, I see in the chat, I see in the chat. Um, yes, I see, yes, yes, mama, yes, we are learning. Yes, I'm learning. Kabuya says it is clear. And then if Franco says, uh, yes, good sense, then uh, Rachel it puts up a thumbs up. Then William says, big sense. So CK says, oh, CK, nice to see you on this Zoom call. Thanks. And then Henry says, very nice session. Joseph, uh, Dr. Joseph says, yes. Okay. Since we have learned that one, that is how to use the stochastic RSI and um, Unless if someone has a burning question, if you have a burning question, please ask. We started a bit late. We still have like more 10 minutes. Let's go beyond 11. Let's have more 10 minutes. If you have a question, please, you can ask. You can ask and we can respond. If you have a question, please ask. 